Hey guys, it's Carrie. Welcome back to the channel. And I do apologize. I've been a little bit sparse lately, but um, all my toy budget went to stuff from AliExpress. Um, so in this bag, I just want to give you a, a little quick of a history, a bit of a history. There supposedly is three um, Once Upon a Zombie dolls. I wanted, I was trying to figure out how I was going to do this review, um, but I, I guess I'm just going to have it be an unboxing. Um, they came out, um, I don't know who the artist was, but they came out by Wowie Toys in 2013, and I discovered them online. I don't know if they ever actually came into physical stores. They may have, but not around here. Um, they, yeah, they were sold by Wowie, and there was, I think, six of them that were made. I have two already, so I'm actually just missing one, and that's going to be Rapunzel, and she seems to be the hardest one to get your hands on. I think it's Rapunzel. So in here, um, I guess I'll go over it when we get them open, but supposedly this came with a stand, so I'm, the way it's packaged, though, in this bag, we know they don't come with the boxes, which is fine, because I would have just opened them up anyway. I just hope that they're okay, because they came in um, another... Uh, Another bag that was a really huge floating around with some other things. But I will actually open those up in a different video. But let's see if I can rip this open now. I'm just hoping that everybody's okay in here. Um, They packed them as good as they, I guess, could. What's free shipping? Okay, let's get that out of there. Um, okay. It does look like they come with their accessories. Their stands too? Oh no, they come with brushes, but I'm not seeing the stands. I'm a little bummed out, unless the stands might be in a different... No, we have no stands, but I think I paid like $12 and something cents with free shipping for these. So let's get the first girl out. Uh, the first girl we're looking at right here is, I believe this is Ariel or the Little Mermaid. I don't think she's actually called Ariel. But they did come with their brushes. I thought they were going to come with their stands too. Uh, and her hair's a little bit messed up. But um, here is Ariel. I'm going to adjust the camera down a little bit. So here's Ariel. She has a very, very uh, subtle uh, red hair. It's very orangey. Um, she has the green inset eyes. And then she has um, like a light green and dark green eyeshadow and blue lips. She has a very light complexion. Like they all kind of do. They have that grayish light complexion. And then they have some printed on uh, stitches. Like, she's got a stitch right here on her arm. And then, I think, is there a little bit going on up here? Is she dirty? I don't know. No, guys. She looks like she's dirty and needs to be cleaned. Um, and then, I thought I was, I was, I guess I was under the impression I was getting a new doll. They do have, uh, really good articulation, so their head moves back and forth. Uh, Shoulder, elbow, hand, and I love this sculpting. Oh, she does have a little bit of right around here. It's some stitch work, and then uh, her dress kind of almost kind of represents the fin. It's like a a ripped. Now they also have um, articulation. I'm not gonna go sit. Is there another layer under here that? I'm wondering too if these may end up being some sort of sample dolls. I don't know, but it's labeled 2002. Wowie. 
I mean, 2012 yeah, uh, Wowie, so yes. Um, it says that right on the back of her. <clears throat> she has a, um, a flexible plastic type top, but it is removable, which is great. And then, of course, the skirt is, and it's double layer. I thought it was something else underneath it, but look how beautiful that is. They, she doesn't have shoes because none of them did. Um, and I think they, they don't have articulation, but I mean, uh, but there's some more stitching and her, their legs do bend. Hers were a little tight. I am going to fix the elastic on that one. But anyway, that's the Little Mermaid. And then I could talk about these. So they do all come with um, their their authentic brushes. That is authentic to them. But I thought they were coming with stands. So I'm a little bit bummed out. But I guess I, I can I can deal with it. It's what happens when you get things secondhand, I guess. Oh. I just dropped her. So another one of the same brushes. These brushes are really cute to me. They might end up in my in my brush shadow box. Um, the other thing I don't I noticed about them is I think they're missing their crowns. So that bums me out as well. I'm gonna look back at that listing, but um, so this is Belle right here. She has the re the auburn hair, and then it comes down in a curl in the back. And this is Belle's outfit. It almost looks like she's got. We have some more like staining, but I don't know if that's staining again. I don't know if that's staining or if that's blushing. But I don't see blushing anywhere else. Is there blushing on this arm? I don't know. Um. But there's her. She also has her eyes are a little a little bit more of a hazel. They're more of a green brown, and then you can see uh, green and light green, and then some more scarring on there. I love the skull. I love these dolls. Like I I I thought though I I originally thought I was getting them on the stand, so I'm a little bit bummed out about that. But the fact that they're authentic and I got them from AliExpress uh, is good, right? And then the last one that we have is Snow White. Let me just like say like you can get these. Uh you can probably find them on eBay and stuff maybe. But they're really hard to get your hands on. They only they only ran for they didn't they never made it to a to a second series. Um, there's prototypes out there, I guess, that exist. I don't know how I would get my hands on them. Uh, her hair is kind of messed up. Uh, they were supposed to do a Pocahontas, uh, Peter Pan, Tinkerbell. I think those are the those are the three that they were supposed to do. And, uh, they never, I don't know if they lost the licensing, what happened, but, um, she needs a little bit of work. She's got a little bit of a, I've been in a bag for a long time look, but, uh, again, what they go with, they, they go with the whole tattered things. I don't know if anyone that's watching this, this video has actually seen any of the, um, animation for these before that came out around the time, but it was kind of a cool concept. Uh. They all became zombies. All the princesses. Um, yeah. So you can see that she has a sleeve here and then it's ripped off on this side. She doesn't look like she has any, any staining or anything, so she looks good. But the other two have red outfits, which was probably what happened. But I think they're... they're it's, it's not... It's mild. It's mild. Uh, she's got brown eyes. I love the inside eyes on these guys. Uh, but it was a very, very short-lived... Uh, doll line. And now I'm just missing one. Once I get my hands on Rapunzel, I will have them all. Minus the prototypes. But that's all we have for you guys today. If you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.